Hello everyone, we're back playing a new game. A goy came up to Rabbi Mooch to ask, Why do rabbis always answer with a question? To which Rabbi Moish replied, Why not? Good reply. The night sky above Manhattan will never win any awards. <laughs> okay. You ain't wrong. Got the click? Maybe. The few stars visible look lonely and desperate. I could relate. Holy shit. Is this the Jewish version of Pastor Needs a Boo? <laughs> oh shit. We're playing the Shiva. Which is a Jewish point-and-click adventure game that I got on Gog in the sale, and it, it's from the same people that made Blackwell, so it looks like it's gonna be good, but we'll see. Sometimes the line between salvation and damnation is a mighty fine one. I no longer knew which side I stood on. There are those who would say that I had no business being here. They might be right. I'm no longer sure what I'm doing. But I'm fairly sure I know who I am. Yeah. Shiva. So, this is the same people who made the Blackwell games and a couple other games that I've been playing. I just, I think I have all their games now, and I just, I really like the games they make, and this I'm hoping is no exception. It's unique. And the music is already pretty good. Yeah, it is really good. Uh, so we're going to start a new game. I think there's actually voice acting in this one. So it also it also came with the classic version, but we're playing the new version. Maybe we'll yes. play the classic too. I don't know. I play it with Matthew. I don't know. It began as many things do with a song. So the place looks pretty empty. Yeah. His final note faded off into the near empty synagogue, unheard by anyone. There's no one there except the rabbi. As I had hundreds of times before this, I got. As I had hundreds of times before this, I got ready to speak. And as I had hundreds of times before this, I began to wonder why. <clears throat> Thank you, Canter Kaplan. Today in my sermon, I'd like to discuss suffering. Why do bad things happen to good people? Wherever there is pain or oppression or poverty, the question is always the same. How could God let this happen? Is God as good as we think? Can he, in fact, do evil? Maybe, on occasion, he even enjoys inflicting pain. Where is the person snoring? I took a good hard look around my world. I... And then it hit me. No. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Rabbi? You heard. Huh? What? Go home, Mrs. Raymer. Is it over already? Yeah. Rabbi Stone, wait! You can't just stop. Sure I can. Just watch me. But... <laughs> it's Joey. over, Joey. I like a Joey. You can't mean that. Look, you're a good kid. You got a good voice and a good future. Don't let me hold you back. Now do a mitzvah and call Mrs. Raymer a cab. I... Goodbye, Josh. Might be Joey, but they might be using the same voice actors from all their games. This might be their first game, actually. Ethical dilemmas have plagued religious leaders since the dawn of time. Yeah, yeah, that's true, true statement. But morals don't mean crap without the personal experience to back them up. Okay. Alright. Knock, knock. Um, what should we do? Number two. Services are cancelled. 
Okay. Look. Declare intention to get the brush off. Declare your intentions. I repeat, services are cancelled. I guess third. Fine, I'm coming. I guess I click on the door. I thought I told you to go home. Rabbi Stone, there's someone here. Tell him to get lost. There's no service tonight. No, it's a... a cop. Huh? Oh! Detective Sam Durkin. Midtown South Precinct. Could I talk to you for a few minutes, Rabbi Stone? Sure! Sarcastic poker face or... Rabbinical? Rabbinical! I didn't even know that was a word. You know, I didn't either. Is there some sort of problem, officer? I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Fine. Josh, take a hike. <laughs> so nice. What can I do for you? I assume you're not here to convert. Are you familiar with a Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I be? I'm asking the questions, Rabbi. Fine. Let me think. Lauder. Lauder. Know him. Yeah. What can you tell me about him? He used to belong to this congregation. Used to? But not anymore? No. Left about eight years ago, I think. What's this about? Have you had any contact with him since? No, I haven't. Care to fill me in here? Do you read the papers? Hmm. Well, rabbinical kind of sounded sarcastic last time. Yeah. So, rabbinicals and sarcasticism, or should I just go honest? Let's do honest. Let's see what he really does. Let's see what he really thinks about those newspapers. Not recently. So, you're not aware, Rabbi Stone, that Jack Lauder has been dead for three days? I did my best to control myself. I knew this man's type. His eyes scanned my face like a barcode reader, trying to read every... Telltale sign of emotion. Any flicker, any twitch could be used against me later. Did he kill him? That's what that sounds like to me. Yeah, I hope not. Does that bother you? Should it? Answer me, Stone. No. So you and Mr. Lauder weren't close? No, we weren't. What's the deal, Durkin? Was a drunkard. I've seen Lauder's will. He left you a significant amount of money. What? Deadpan, incredulous, or rabbinical? Rabbinical. He left me money? Is this a joke? Are you joking with me, detective? That's rabbinical? No, I'm not joking. Answering a question with a I don't question? Know exactly. mm -hmm. but somewhere in excess of 10,000. Who? It's the truth. Jack wouldn't give me bubkiss, let alone $10,000. And why is that, Rabbi Stone? He just wouldn't. Huh. Smoking? No smoking! In my office? This temple's in pretty sad shape, isn't it, Rabbi? Well, you're not blind, that's for sure. Can you afford the repairs? I... Brush off. I have no idea what you're talking about, Detective Durkin. And if that's all, I suggest you leave. Rabbi Stone, you didn't answer my question. Life's full of disappointments. You'll get over it. Rabbi Stone. Get out of my office. Listen. No, you listen. I know where this is going, and I don't like it. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're a real mensch. Get out of here. <laughs> Fine. I'll leave, Rabbi Stone. But I'll be back. Yeah, I bet you will. I like the dialogue and oh dialogue choice thing in this game. I do too, actually. But the rain beat in a regular staccato rhythm against the window. I had to think for a second. I know that word. I just I was about to say you were the one who played piano. I know, and I I've never actually seen the word written down. Oh. Yeah. The more you know. But I could only hear one thing. 
Jack Lauder. Jack Lauder. The name pulled out a cork in my brain, letting loose old thoughts and memories that fought and struggled for supremacy. Were they lovers? Jack Lauder. It was more than just a name. It was linked to a time when things were simpler. A time when I thought I had, all, had it all figured out. A time when morals and ethics meant something. A time before it all turned to crap. I need to think. Is it like Tally is going to get a little high to think? Let's see where Josh is. My computer. Josh set this computer up a few weeks ago. He claimed that he needed to join the 21st century and connect with the community. Josh had been bugging me to start using it. I suppose now is a good, as good a time as any. I could only can remember that if I only, if only I could remember what Josh chose as my login and password. Uh, Ravnet, New York, where Jews connect. Uh, I just back out of there because I don't know that. Go find Josh. Okay, I know how that works. A game I played point clicks. There was nothing up there I wanted to see. We're getting on Jade 8. Go find him. There was nothing on the bookshelf I wanted to read. What was I going to do with them? Pay them? It was bills. Wow, Rabbi. What was that all about? Carbinical. Carbinical. Didn't I tell you to go home? Come on, Rabbi. I have to know. Who was killed? Josh. What did I tell you about listening at my door? I Girl. wasn't, Rabbi. Honest. You were just... very loud. Huh. So who was killed? Was it that Lauder guy? Grudging, incredulous, or rabbinical. Let's go. We haven't done one yet. So grudging? Yeah. Uh, we must have talked very loud. Well, yeah. So who is he? An old member of this congregation. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, well, it happens to the best of us. Are you going to pay a shiva call? I don't think there will be a shiva, Josh. Why? Oh, it's not shiva. I thought it was shiva. Jewish families. Just forget it. Huh. All right, if that's what you want. I guess I'll go now. Yeah. Good night, Cantor. Night, Rabbi. I didn't get my... My, I guess... Hebrew Mingle pa account password. Hebrew Mingle. Ten thousand dollars. Less than twenty minutes ago, I had accepted defeat. The bank was going to foreclose on the property, and there was nothing I could do. Jack's money changed all that. The Benai Ben Zion Synagogue could remain open. I hope I said that right. The Benai Ben Zion. I wouldn't have had to see my life's work turn into a shopping mall or a parking lot. Has God answered my prayers? The age-old question. <laughs> what is the work of God and what is the work of man? The money was a boon, there was no doubt about that. But it was blood money and I couldn't believe God would work that way. I don't like it. I don't know that. Not one bit. Why, Jack? Why me? Why now? They say God helps those who help themselves. Yeah, they do say that. Yeah. And I had done absolutely nothing to get this money. I didn't trust it. I don't blame them. Yeah. Suddenly the cantor's words came back to me. A shiva call. I can't just barge in unannounced. But I can pay a shiva call. It's the only way. Right click and hold to show all items on screen. Okay. Oh! A lot more uh, stuff than I thought there would be on here. So I guess we're gonna look at everything. As much as I would have loved to break open a bottle of Kiddish. Kiddish? 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 Kiddish wine, I didn't think it was appropriate. Sure, it was. It was a. 
fine where it was fine where it was. Uh, fine where it was and fine where it was. Is there a way to look in your pockets? Josh picked his computer up at local yard sale. He said it would revolutionize my life. It hadn't happened yet, but I was holding my breath. I wasn't holding my breath. Uh, not really, no. Mm -hmm. Photograph. It was fine where it was. Is there a way to view your inventory? See what you already have? I don't know. It's taken over 15 years ago. Most of those kids probably had families of their own by now. I found if you right click, you can uh, look at stuff. This window afforded me the thrill of view the deli across the street. Um, enter. Uh, okay, no. I guess I'll just go and enter. Pay. A little bit late now. I'm going to go pay the ship a call. Well, as I've been informed, there's apparently a inventory. I just don't know how to get to it. Hmm. Oh! You go up to the top. Oh. Which means we can probably save. Hey. True. Go with that as I said. Yiddish Dictionary. That's kind of cool. Robot Russell Stone. R. Stone at Revnet. NY.com. Okay, well, I guess that's our password. That's probably the username. Yeah. Whatever. It's like a car stone. So, right, I guess didn't you I? press enter. It says Yenta. How do I spell Yenta? Y E N T A. I don't know how. Okay. Hello, Rabbi Stone. Please choose an option. Mail? Yeah. Welcome to Ravnet. Test. Shot. Great games. What happened? Special offer. Final notice. Mmm. Disappointed. Overdraft notice. Ooh. Oh no, as soon as the continuing non payment, you're. Electric service will be terminated in the overdue balance of five hundred twenty-five dollars and sixty-seven cents. Not met by it's not met by April twenty-first. Contact our office if you have any questions. Dang. Disappointed. I tried to have faith in you, or well, Rabbi Son. I tried to have faith in you, but it's obvious that you are becoming increasingly more unbalanced. You call yourself a Jew. Our people need leaders. Regretful, Sarah Applebaum. Oh. To Russell Stone. This is to inform you that your account is currently $1,893.43 into its overdraft. As you are aware, your account only has $1,000 overdraft protection. Please submit the difference of $893.43 to us within seven days so as not to damage your credit rating. Oh my god. What happened? Rabbi Sun, I'm sorry about my family and I can't attain your service any longer. Your last few sermons have upset the children so much that it took several hours to calm them down. What happened to you, Jeremy Brooks? Jesus Christ. Great games! For the best games and entertainment visit. Oh, wow, that's uh, people who made the games, uh... Website? Yeah. Shocked. Dear Rabbi Stone, I have been a loyal member of Benai Ben Zion Zio or whatever for many years, but I cannot bring myself to listen to your dark and gloomy sermons any longer. Times are tough enough for us Jews without you rubbing salt in the wound. Goodbye, Lisa Schwartz. Test. Dang. Hello, Rabbi Stone. Separate account for you. Hopefully, it will work out for you okay. Okay, work out okay for you. You can change the password if you want. Most people choose things like their mother. Or their wife's maiden name, but I thought this was appropriate. Ha ha, Cantor Josh. I don't know what Yenta Welcome is. to Revnet. Mazel tov. Welcome to Revnet, New York. The newest way to bring Jews together as a community. Our features are small but growing. Here's a list of what we currently offer. Mail, search. Everyone needs a laugh. Check out our joke feature for the best in Jewish jokes. On behalf <laughs> what? On behalf of myself and the entire Ravnet team, thank you for joining and making our community stronger. We got a joke. 
Marshall was talking to his psychiatrist. I had a weird dream recently, he said. I saw my mother, but then I noticed she had your face. I found this was I found this so worrying that I immediately awoke and couldn't get back to sleep. I just stayed there thinking about it until 7 a.m. I got up, made myself a slice of toast and some coffee, and came straight here. Can you please help explain to me the meaning of my dream? The psych uh, the psychiatrist kept silent for some time, then said, One slice of toast and coffee. Do you call that a breakfast? Uh so I guess we search up the lotter guy? Yep. Can you spell his name? L A U O. Jack. Yep. Okay. Searching for Jack Lauder. Contact information or Contact information first. Yeah. Jack Lauder, one hundred Jane Street, Carbon Forty. Okay. So it's like Blackwell where you get the addresses and then you can I I guess. Then, uh, Garment District Murder. Jack Lauder of Best Tik Tikva was found dead last night in it, his Midtown office, victim of an apparent assault by a person of, person of known. We went, we at Ravna express our sympathy to Jack's friends and family. Best Tikva. Look at that. Is that right? Tikva? Tikva? Yeah. Oh, it's a synagogue. Contact information. Okay. Alright. So yeah, this is exactly like Blackwell. Just... I guess more... Let's save after that one. Just a little bit more uh, basic. Yeah. Kind of like a prototype, if you will. Yeah. Let's exit. Um. So we're going to the Upper West Side? Uh, I think we should go to... Or should we go to the Lauder residence? Lauder. Okay. I, I realize now it's the island. I was looking at like, what is that? Yeah, like, I, I didn't know what it was either. So it looked kind of like a... The way it looks like it's a glitch, it looks like a dick. Or like... A, a dog legless with, puppy? I said, dog with no legs? Yeah. Guessing that's his wife. Mrs. Lauder? Yes? I heard about your husband. I came to... pay my respects. Oh. You knew Jack? Is it honest or rabbinical? Honest. Some time ago, yes. All right, come on in. I'm sorry, you look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? If I wanted answers, answer, she'd have to know who I was. This required tact. Um, honest. That sounds tactful. My name is Rabbi Russell Stone. Your husband used to be a member of my congregation. Oh, I remember now. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Apologetic. Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're sorry, are you? I'm so glad to hear that. Jack would do. love to hear no, that no, you no. are sorry. He knows already, Mrs. Lauder. Too late, Rabbi. Too late. What do you want? Um. Uncertain, rabbinical. Uncertain. I'm not sure what I want. Oh, really? You're just getting back in touch. Is that it? I. Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago, and now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right, and yet you're here. Why? Let's do direct, because I want to know. Okay. The police visited me today. Oh. Did they? Yes. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. 
Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? Denial. We're accepting. I don't know. Rabbinical. No. Not with a grieving woman. <laughs> Denial. I don't hate you, Mrs. Lauder. Whatever. Jack hated you. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder. If he hated me so much, why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible. I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The police told me. I have no love of the police, but I doubt they'd lie about that. Yeah. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Lauder, if Jack hated me so much, why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This oh, makes bitch. no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Don't you start. You have no idea. The police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... well... I suppose I'm curious, and I'd like to... help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... Don't be selfish or make amends. Amends. Maybe I'm looking to make amends for what happened eight years ago. Pfft. Why not? Why shouldn't a rabbi play at being detective? You want to investigate Rabbi Stone? Be my guest. I'll have to ask you some questions about what happened. Can't you just ask the police? They won't talk to me. I'm a suspect. Fine. Fine. Ask whatever you want. Oh! Oh. Murder business, mayor, or say the lot. Mirror? Mirror? You covered up the mirror. Yes. It's what you are supposed to do, right? Well, yes, but... I know. I'm not Jewish. I'm probably doing it all wrong, but it feels right. Is it right, Rabbi? Comforting. It's perfect. Thank you. Margaret now? Mm -hmm. Since you're so curious? How did Jack die? I am nosy. He was shot right in the head. Oh. At close range, according to the police. Oh, what the fuck? I'm sorry, Mrs. Lauder. He was in the showroom, working late. That's all I know. Business. business. What business was your husband in? We were in business together. Fashion design, high-end casual wear, shirts, blouses, slacks. Not what I expected. He'd sell. All right. Well, let's go through all these. Yeah, let's just say the mine first. Well, hold up. Are you holding up, Mrs. Lauder? Fine, as well as can be expected. All right. Said it. Let's go through them. Yeah. Was the business successful? We did all right. It was tough at first, but things have been picking up over the last few years. We sell to mainly boutique stores, but Macy's has bought several pieces from us, and Saks was interested. Hmm. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Especially if we bring in New York. Right? And what happens to the business now? Are you going to run it by yourself? I guess I could, but not right away. And definitely not in that same showroom. I can understand that. Okay. Yeah. Where is your showroom? Why? Do you want to have a look? It can't hurt. Oh, this is crazy. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Sure, if you want to have a look, go ahead. Just because trained police officers couldn't find anything doesn't mean a rabbi can't. The building is 1407 Broadway, room 903. Unless good or not that they're on Broadway. I don't know. Company What's name. The name of your business? Charming Fashion Company. Charming. Charming. It, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind it. It's based on my family's name, Sharma, and it oh. sounds like oh. charming. Aww. Real cute. That is cute, actually. Can you tell me about your company again? Sure. What do you want? Oh, okay. Well, I'm leaving. I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks. I guess. I guess. Yes. About eight years ago, could you just tell me why? Were you and Jack happy? Yes. I yes, we were. Then my reasons don't matter. 
That was my rabbinical response. <laughs> yes. Um, save here. I'm gonna go back to here so I can save. Okay. And we will come back next time and go to the showroom or the synagogue. Let's go to the showroom. Okay, we'll go to the showroom next. So uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you later. And the Shiva. Shiva. Shiva? I don't remember already. I've already forgotten. <laughs> Goodbye.